pretty jaw-dropping when you see this thing for the first time, you know? And to think that, I mean, history was created, not just in the battles that the ship took part in, but the fact that the Japanese surrendered on board this ship, you know? It's, uh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. So as an actor, you don't really have to use your imagination. It's just all here. It's all there, you know? I had to present a medal to him, his character. He's called Mick. And uh, he, uh, they helped him up on the stage, on the platform. And as he walked towards me, when the camera was turning, he had a look in his eyes that was like, that wasn't acting, you know? It was, uh, this man's been through a lot. and suffered incredible injuries for his country and yet there was this incredible defiance and dignity and, and power. It made me feel very proud and, and quite intimidated too, you know. I'm, as you know, the father of two boys and uh, I know uh, the extent of love that I have for them so I tried to imagine that doubled for a, for a girl to have a daughter, you know. And uh, she's, uh, she's a very, very striking, very beautiful girl. And, uh, and we seem to hit it off too, you know? We had, we had just a couple of little scenes together, but I, uh, I think we had a good, a good relationship, father-daughter relationship, you know? This is a young punk who wants to uh, take my daughter's hand in marriage. And, uh, but he has to, in my eyes, he has to prove himself and he's, He's a very, very smart individual, but as I say to him, uh, he's very, very weak in the character, in, the, in his, his character and in his, his leadership and decision-making qualities. It leaves a lot to be desired, you know? Now, his brother, on the other hand, played by Alexander Sarsgaard, and I, I would gladly uh, offer, offer him my daughter, you know? But that's not to be. So.